Hello Capricorn, it's Milady from Milady's Lake here and I'm coming to do your weekly weekend reading for the weekend of July 28, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oceanic Tarot by Jane Wallace. I wanted to thank everybody for like, sharing, and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Uh, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs and let's get this show on the road. Alright, what's going on for Capricorn, Capricorn? For the weekend of June, July, 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 July 28, 2017. All right, Capricorn. Okay, so some kind of business product project has not been going according to plan. You're losing more money than you're gaining. Or somebody was supposed to pay you back this weekend, and they did not. Okay. So, um, whoo, man. So you're losing money but getting love. So basically you, some of you are walking away from money for love. Or like you um, devoting more of your time to your relationship than your job. Okay. Oh yeah, you got the two options. It's always either love or money. And here it looks like you're choosing love. Okay, Capricorn. Or it also can be the one that you love and the one that owes you money. But, no tell. Alright. So, yeah, I think this weekend, I think you might be just spending a lot of money on the person that you really care about. You starting to let go. Yeah. Okay, but in this love, it seemed like the love may possibly just be. Mm. I'm feeling like the love just might be one one way. I think the person care about you, but I don't feel like they they're deep in love with you. You know, I think it might be a new relationship for some of you guys. Um, well. I guess not for all of that. This Eight of Swords makes me feel like it's um, it's some excess for some of you. So some of you guys are rekindling relationships from back in the past. Okay. So we got money going out. We have love coming in. We got the option. I guess the option just fluctuates back and forth. And then we got, in, you know, you're not, like, holding on to your money anymore. You're just, like, sort of letting it go. But it, I don't know. Right here is making me feel like, let me pull one card for this. Because it's making me feel like that the love is only one-sided. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I'm feeling like this person at the top, like you, you feel like you got everything you need to get what you want. But I'm feeling like this person at the bottom, I feel like they might be manipulating. I think somebody is trying to manipulate you just right now. I mean, because it's a new relationship. I think they just testing the waters out or something like that. What is this Eight of Swords about for the Capricorn for the weekend of 7, 28, 17? Okay. Yeah, so some of you I feel like yeah, this is a new relationship. Some of you were waiting for an ex, but y'all not waiting no more. Y'all was waiting for them to communicate. Now you're like, okay, that's over. I'm gonna go over here and deal with this person, see what's up with that. So this is definitely a new relationship. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Um responsibilities. Oh, so yeah, I feel like, yeah, you're not taking care of your responsibilities work-wise to be with this person. This person is taking you out of, the new person is taking you out of what you're supposed to be doing. But, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a person to read, description box below. Other than that, go have some fun.